Hey everyone, this is going to be a re-upload of this video, which is one of my most popular videos. But in this version, there is going to be no background music. Enjoy. In this video, you will learn what the reincarnation trap is, how it works and how to escape. Reincarnation is a fact. It has been practically proved scientifically. The concept of reincarnation has been historically present in almost every single major human religion. It is clear that our consciousness and sometimes our memories return to this realm. There are so many reports of people recounting their past lives and there's no other logical explanation except that we return to this earth after death. The problem is, many of us don't understand the mechanism of reincarnation and the reincarnation trap or the soul trap. In this video, I will teach you how to stop this endless cycle. This video could be one of the most important videos that you ever watch. So I would like to ask you to show your gratitude by liking this video and subscribe to this channel to see brand new content every single week. When we die, we're told to go into the light. It's been ingrained into our collective consciousness as the escape route from earth and or purgatory into higher realms. But what if I told you that stepping into the light is another trap? designed to keep our souls entangled in this earth's matrix. Yes, my friends, the rulers of this world have one last trick waiting for us. By surrendering to the enticing glow of the white light, we prevent our souls from returning to source or God. We become caught in the clutches of the earth's matrix prison, where our soul is recycled and forced back into the very system we are trying to escape from. Part of our godlike energy is stolen from us every single time we reincarnate. And eventually, it gets to the point where the soul can no longer be used for another host body. This explains the existence of ghosts in this realm. They are souls that have returned so many times that they are now trapped here for good. But extraterrestrial entities still use them as energy sources to travel to other places. The manipulative beings responsible for this are often referred to as archons. Archon means ruler in Greek. They are the architects of this earthly prison. To learn more about this, watch my video titled E's Secret Daughter Burns Down the Ark, The Reality of the Rulers. These beings know that humanity is rapidly awakening and it is weakening their matrix prison control system. In response, they have tried to flood our collective consciousness with the false notion that going into the famous white light is our ticket to eternal freedom. Annoyingly, this misinformation tactic plays right into their hands and ensures their continued domination over our souls. That white light leads us straight back to hell, earth. After death, your consciousness becomes expansive. It travels at the speed of thought. And as you're going through this process and you're beginning to understand your new abilities as a sovereign soul, what happens? You are met by a light. And you are then greeted by an artificial white light being. This being may take on the form of a deceased relative or a spirit guide slash guardian angel or Jesus Christ or Buddha or Krishna. It will be someone who is of great significance to you. And this false being will then proceed to show you life reviews of your entire life. The false entity will pick specific areas that usually have to do with shame, fear and guilt 
where you probably didn't do your best, where you probably made a huge error in judgment. It will then give you the opportunity to resolve your karma and coerce you into coming back onto the earth. If that doesn't work, maybe because you're a Christian that doesn't believe in karma, they might try to scare you with hell or something along those lines. Or if you're an atheist or someone who doesn't believe in the afterlife at all, they might appear as a loved one and they'll say, let's go back to earth together. And instead of us being mother and daughter, let's be sisters this time. Anything to try and lure you back in. And if you're ignorant and you're not aware of the manipulation at play, you'll agree. These false beings then trick you into thinking that there is a period of rest and you've attended a cosmic school where you and the false light beings have come up with a divine plan to help you resolve your karma this time around. If any of you have read the Dolores Cannon books, you'll be familiar with this. And then what will happen is that you'll be sucked back down into the earth, into the, another body to start all over again. And what comes along with this is the memory wipe, which is so contradictory to what they are saying. In the new age especially, there's this idea that life is a school and that we choose to come here to learn lessons and make earth a better place. But how the hell can you learn or grow from something that you don't remember? In school, you learn something, you remember it, you build on it and learn something else that's slightly more advanced when you reach the next school year or the next grade if you're in America. You don't get to the end of the school year, wipe your memory and start learning your ABCs all over again from scratch. How on earth would you ever progress? You wouldn't. You'd be trapped in school forever. What these beings are really doing is putting you in a position where they can re-harness your pain and suffering because they feed on it. This is called louching. So you come back down and there will be more abuse, more trauma and more suffering waiting for you. This is because Earth is really a human slave farm and the cycle is endless. I've touched on this before and a lot of people say to me, oh, this is a negative outlook and the earth is a reflection of your inner reality. Yes, but the other side of that is that they, the Archons, need you here. In reality, once you leave your body, you become way more powerful. Your true self is intangible. You are an immortal soul. And you are being tricked into settling for this subpar body in this subpar realm, which to me looks like a literal insane asylum ruled by psychos. And even when we die, it doesn't end. We are tricked into coming back here rather than exploring the great beyond, which consists of much better dimensions and much better realities. So, We've worked out that we've probably been tricked into coming back here before. How do we stop it from happening again? When the time comes, how are we supposed to remember what to do? The first step is preparation. You need to be free of fear and anxiety. Those emotions keep us tethered to the earth. This is because these vibrations are a direct energy match to the frequency of this system. Letting go of fear and anxiety is different for everybody. Psychedelics, when taken properly, are there to help us. They are the earth's medicine and they have the potential to change your life for the better. If you are able to, therapy and counselling helps massively. I also have a video that gives you simple and practical step-by-step -step guidance on how to raise your vibration. You will find all the practical information and resources that you need over there. I'm also working on more resources and courses to help you all. So keep an eye out. So once you've lived your life to the best of your ability and the time comes to leave your body, 
your soul will be met by your specific projection. I want you to question your dead relative or any other entity that greets you before you even think about going anywhere. Pay attention to everything around you. Do not rush or blindly agree to go into the white tunnel unless for whatever reason you want to come back here. Instead, you must turn away and look up. Gaze into the dark void. You are in complete control and nothing can harm you. Ask for the matrix web to be revealed and for all holes, weaknesses and exits to be shown to you. If you are worried that you won't remember to do this, you need to practice exploring the creative powers of the unconscious mind. This can be done through lucid dreaming. If you want me to do a video series on this, let me know in the comments. With courage, head towards the exit outside of the Earth Matrix. Once there, your true power will be restored to you and you will have the freedom to choose your own path. You will be able to choose where to travel so you can explore other galaxies, dimensions and planetary systems. You will be able to re-experience the past lives that you had before you incarnated onto the Earth. Or, if you desire, you will be able to go into the Great Central Sun, which is the energy source for all consciousness within our megaverse. It is here where you will be able to become one with God. It is where you will have true freedom alongside God. You can decide what you want to experience, if anything. And any decision that you make will be truly for your best interests. The fact that you have been drawn to this video means that you've probably experienced tens, hundreds or maybe even thousands of birth and death reincarnation cycles. Maybe it all finally stops now with this video and this message. Please don't underestimate yourself. All it takes is a small element of doubt in the moments when you leave this earthly plane and you will remember and you will be out of here. In fact, I'm sure that you've been waiting for this wake-up call for a very long time. This is a really confusing and polarising topic and I want to hear from you if you have more information on the subject. I will try my best to answer all of you in the comments. I do see them all and I do really, really appreciate the love. Thank you all so much for listening. I love you and I will see you in the next one.